There's another one. Ugh. Woo! So just got done with my quick workout. Packed everything up. About to head to Hampton to pick up some filler crabs. Then the NC. Uh, let's get into it, baby. If you don't like getting dirty, this ain't for you. Boots are a must. I see people using their hands. I see people using their gloves. I use gloves. And I also use tongs. Hopefully I can get a few. So what they do is they sit in their holes. Kind of like gophers. And watch out for snakes. Snakes is something I don't do. Too many legs and no legs, bruh. Not for me. Snakes and spiders. Can't do it. This one. Female. You can tell the difference. Females have the smaller claws. Like that. The males have one big large claw. There you go. That's another female. Another little mama. a male for you, larger claw. A lot of females. Males must be out on the water. These purple ones are interesting. I don't know if I can get one. They really pack a punch. what these purple ones are. But you can see how he's hanging on there. I want to get on the other end on that. Come on. Okay, here we go. I see some moving in the grass over here. Yes. Now we talking. And this is what I want. I don't mind the smaller ones. Big ones are just a little more durable. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Yeah, so if you've never fished with them before or purchased them, it's anywhere from $4.99 to $6.99 for a dozen. Or you can take about 20 minutes, get you a pair of tongs and a pair of boots, and catch your own. Up to you. Yeah, that should do it. Headed to the boat channel. Boat channel is an opening that allows ships to to pass under the bridge safely without worrying about hitting these pilings and other structure. From my experience, it's where the largest fish, the larger fish, hang out around the structure, around the boat channels. Got me a fat little she crab. Wants to be the one to set it off. Don't you pinch me, miss. Fresh out the mud.
job. Keeper. There we go. That's how we set it off, baby. That's what we want. Had to be 14 inches in the state of uh, North Carolina. He is 14 and a half. Perfect size. Where there's one, there's typically more. Let's see. Surprised I got him. That was a weird angle. Didn't have much leverage. Good thing he wasn't any bigger. Probably would have lost him. There's another one. He's bigger. He's bigger. He's bigger. What is it? Oh, yeah. What's up, that drag? Where's my net? No, 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 no. Ah. Yes. That's better. That's what we want. That's what we want. <laughs> Woo. Man. That's what we want right there. Oh, man. Hook just came out, too. Pound for pound, these boys put up a scrap. Um, what am I gonna do here? Probably gonna let the smaller one go. I don't know yet. I don't know, I'm gonna keep fishing for right now. See how many are stacked up right here. 18. 18 and a half. Not a bad black draw. Not a bad black draw. Alright. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the smaller one just yet. And I don't want to put him on the stringer in case these fish are stacked up here because I heard that drumming sound. Is it a stress call? No, he don't need to be signaling, signaling to his homeboys so he can stay out the water for now. Fiddler's getting it done as always, man. Let's see what else I get. What's interesting is I dropped a sand flea down there. I had no interest in that. I repositioned myself. more like a sheep's head right there. Got him. Smaller one. out of space. Throw these little sand fleas down there. Keep them interested. Yes. 
<laughs> Let's go, baby. Ah, pin me. I guess that's fair, though. Let's keep this thing going. Pray for days like this. Smaller one. Cute little fish. I want your mama though. Let me get these boys on a stringer. Give me some leg room. Already been finned twice. It does not feel good. Just scooped up this blue crab. Hanging on the piling. It shrunk him up and throw him down there. There we go, he's pretty. On the blue crab. <laughs> oh man. He's nice. Yeah, buddy. That's what we want. Eh, about twice that size for real. Maybe three, four times that size. But he's a good eater. I'm happy. I'm happy. Bleed him out and put him on the string and join his friends down there. keep anymore that's plenty of fish for me at least for the week eat some free some give some away there he is get up here oh he's nice get up here he's nice looks like a red oh it is Oh, he's barely hooked. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. Stay on there, stay on there, stay on there. Yes! Woo! Look at him. Yes! Pretty red. Hooked him under the chin. So in North Carolina, it's one a day. And there are slot fish in between 18 and 27. He looks about 19 or 20. <sighs> 19 and a half. That's a pretty red right there. <laughs> yes! <sighs> Man. Having one of them days, baby. Just give me a trout or a flounder. And that's my inshore slam. 
or even a sheep's head. I'd be happy with the sheep's. Bleed him out, get him on a stringer. It's a nice red. Perfect size to eat. Gotta watch him for them gill plates. Cause it'll slice you. Some pretty red fish. Running out of room on the stringer, baby. Fiddler crab. Well, there goes my slam, baby. <laughs> there goes my slam, baby. He swallowed it too. Nice trout. Well, that completes my slam. I'm not gonna keep him. I'm sick of trout. Nice little fish, though. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like some lightning's touching down over there. And that's gonna be on me pretty quick now. So it looks like I'm gonna have to start heading in. I'll get back to you if I hook up with something. I'm gonna fish my way in. I got a ways to go. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I don't want my meat to spoil. Although I bled him out, they need to be on ice. And I got a ways to get back to the Jeep. But. Man, it's been a great day fishing. I hope you all enjoyed. Hopefully the weather permits me to go out again this week. Um, happy Father's Day again to all my loved ones. And I'll be back out as soon as I can, man. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all.